Hello Excel friends. Still copy and pasting values to find matches across your spreadsheet. Stop right there. Stop scrolling and searching values manually. Today we are looking at the power of Excel lookup functions. First we will look at VLOOKUP, then HLOOKUP and then the new supercharged XLOOKUP function. This is the ultimate lookup trio function video. Let's explore how each works when to use them. And the bonus in this video why XLOOKUP is the future of lookups in Excel. All of lookup functions help you find and then return the data from the table. Instead of manually finding the values, these functions help automate things. For instance, VLOOKUP function helps searching values vertically from top to bottom. HLOOKUP function helps searching values horizontally from left to right. XLOOKUP function helps searching values both vertically and horizontally. And we will establish how it is more powerful version of all the lookup functions. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share the video for enjoying more fun learning in Excel. Let's dive into a practical example so you can see these formulas in action. Imagine you are working in the HR department of a company with over 250 employees. Your supervisor has just sent you an Excel file containing each employee's contact details and salary information. He asked you to extract the following from the data. The contact information of 10 specific employees named provided separately. The percentage increase in salary for all the employees. And finally, a summary table showing each selected employee's name, department info, and their current salary. Let's use Excel lookup function to get this done quickly and accurately. So this is the Excel file which your HR department shared with you. It has employee ID, name, their department address, current salary, previous salary, and percentage change. The first day, thing they asked us to do is to find the addresses for these 10 employees. What we can do, we can copy this and then find it over here and then copy the value address and then paste it over here. Instead of doing it, this way, what we can do, we can use VLOOKUP formula. For that, we need to type equal to, then VLOOKUP. And then we need to tell the lookup value we are looking at employee ID. And then we need to select the table array. So we will go to that sheet which has this table, that's the employee records. And we will select that column first which has the employee ID so it is in B so instead of selecting from A we will select employee ID first because in order to uh, run this formula correctly or work correctly we need to select first column which has that information so employee ID will be under employee ID column so we'll select this column and then we keep on selecting the, co the column until we reach the address column so address column is we have stopped over there and then we need to put comma and then we need to count the number of columns so the the formula works like this they will look up this value that is in b3 in the table from b1 to e and then we need to tell excel which column to paste so address is in the column one two, three, fourth. This is the fourth column. Visually, you can see it is a fifth column in the Excel, but from this range B to E, it is the fourth column. That is why we will put four over here. And then we need an exact match. For that, we can put zero or we can write false and then close the bracket. So you, will, you have seen that we have pasted the address for this employee ID. Now we will clean up the information over here so we will lock these by putting dollar sign front and back of the column reference or we can press f4 for quickly uh, is a quick tip for locking the cell or columns uh, we do this because we don't want when we copy paste we don't want these reference to be switched because of our copy pasting or dragging the formula the second task the HR department has 
asks us to do is to find the percentage change in salary for all the employees. For that, we can use age lookup function. Personally, I'm not a big fan of age lookup function because they, the sequence has to be right for running this function. And this function works here horizontally. So what we can do, we can write age lookup and then start the bracket. And then we need to select the lookup value. So we are looking for the percentage change. So we will select this and then from the employee records, we will look at, we can select all these columns, or if we want, we can select this, this age column because we are looking for the percentage change. But I'm going to select all these columns and then put comma. And then we need to tell which row that needs to be pasted. So the first employee is on the second row so we can do type second and then it should be exact match and zero so over here we can clean this formula by locking these cells and then to for for the second for dragging the formula we need to also fix this so when we copy paste it should move along without changing the reference but over here you see it has the same percentage change because we are still have two over here so we need to type three there is a workaround for for that what we can do we can type two three four over here and then just drag it down as a sequence and then instead of typing two, we can give a reference of this over here. And then we can just copy paste the formula or drag the formula. So that's how you don't have to give cell reference every time. So by now we have copied all the percentage change in salary for all these employees. As of now we have used VLOOKUP function and HLOOKUP function. Now we will look at XLOOKUP function and see how we can use XLOOKUP function in order to populate employee name, department, current salary and percentage change against these employee IDs. For XLOOKUP function you need to type equal to then XLOOKUP and then you need to tell the lookup value like in you do for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Then you need to look uh, tell the lookup array. So it is in the employee record, record. So you will go over to that sheet. And unlike we do for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, we select multiple columns. We only need to select the column in which that employee ID is mentioned. So we, it is in B, so we will select this column. And then we need to tell the return value return array so we are looking forward to paste employee name in front of the employee id so we are going to select employee name array which is in the column c then this is a good thing about xlooker we can tell if the value is not found we can say something like not found so that we should know that okay this needs to be corrected or this information is not available then we need to put comma, comma and then for the exact match we need to type zero and then we close the bracket so it is pasted samuel clark against this id we can freeze these columns so that when we copy paste the columns are not disturbed and then we can copy paste this column Similarly for department we can copy the same formula because most of the information the lookup value is the same the employee records reference to the column is the same because B has the employee ID for department we need to update this column so we can select this column and go into the employee IDs and select the department array and then we can lock this over here as well and then if it's not found 
uh, we can type not found over it and then zero and then drag this similarly I can do it again for you over here so X lookup you need to select the employee ID then go to this sheet where there is employee ID and select that column which has employee IDs put comma and then we need to tell the return value so we are interested in the current salary so we are going to select this F column and then if it, the value is not found we can type anything maybe not available so I have chosen to write not found under inverted commas and then put comma zero for the exact match and then close the bracket again lock these uh, reference column so that when you drag the formula they are not been disturbed and similarly there is another way we can do it we can copy paste this over here and the local value remains the same the employee id reference in the employee records have been the same we know that under the employee records the percentage changes in the age column what we can do we can simply change these f's with h and this works and we can copy paste this formula down so in this video we have uh, gone through the three lookup functions in excel for many years vlookup and hlookup have been excel staple functions for years but xlookup is the future it is more flexible it handles errors and it is highly recommended over the other two lookup functions if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe to excel flow quick hacks like comment and share and let us know which formulas you would like us to break down next thank you